Starting your day off right with breakfast. The saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day is actually true. The negative side effects of not having breakfast are, are quite a few. Most, the most important one I think is that it, people have lower energy as the morning goes on. So the people that do skip breakfast probably don't think as well, they're not as effective, uh, they will feel more fatigue. Because if you don't eat, if you've spent all night not having any kind of energy and you wake up and don't eat till noon, your body's not going on any kind of fuel or nutrition. It's going on some kind of adrenaline rush and that can be very fickle. It goes up and down. So most people that skip breakfast kind of go on coffee to give them energy. And that can be, you know, you'll have a lot of energy and then all of a sudden you're crashing. So you're looking for some other kind of stimulant again. Instead of using good nutrition for your energy, you're getting it from an artificial source. So that's the most important reason to have something uh, for breakfast because you fasted all night, your body is looking for some kind of fuel. It often will go to your muscle for energy if you haven't had any food and that breaks your body down. It's a very unhealthy thing to do if your body's going to the muscle for energy. So you want to have something. One thing I hear a lot is people say, Corinne, I'm just not hungry in the morning. There's no way I can eat. Well, look at your day. Start. I, I, I've said this so many times, but journal your food and look at how you're eating. You'll probably find that you're eating way too much food at the end of the day. So then you wake up, you're not hungry, you feel kind of bloated, you don't want any food. So what you, we need to do is switch you around so you're having more food in the first part of your day and less food in the, in the latter part of your day. And I get people switched around all the time. I don't have any clients that skip breakfast. It's, just not allowed in in my plan. So if it's a protein shake, it's one way I get clients to get started eating breakfast because it's a simple kind of a light meal. And everyone agrees to trying that. And before you know it, they find waking they're waking up hungry again, which is a good thing. Not starving, but they're waking up hungry and looking forward to breakfast. You really do need to have most of your calories in the first part of your day. And as the day goes on, you have lighter meals. And you will find that breakfast does make you feel better. It keeps your energy going and you'll just have a more productive day. A side effect of that is probably weight loss. The studies show that people that eat breakfast have a less or have um, an easier time losing weight and usually don't even get overweight to begin with. What you eat in the morning is important. If you're having coffee in Danish, probably not a good thing to do. You want to get that balance of protein, carbohydrate, and fat in your breakfast meal to make it a balanced and an energetic thing or an energetic way to start your day. If you'd like to learn more, go to simplyslimliving.com.